In the history of the series between these two clubs, North Carolina has won five. Armada have won twice. There has been one draw, and the Armada looking for a victory after losing their only match of the season to North Carolina two weeks ago. Aaron is uh, always an attacking style coach, but you can see a very organized team, a team that knows exactly what to do on and off the ball. Here's Steinberger stepping in front of one. Jack Blake unloads, saved by Silvestri. Steinberger has put it away for the Armada. And Stein Steinberger gets the call once again. Great combination, one-on-one -on -one situation for him. Good little ball back to J.C. Banks, and he's there for the rebound to tap it in, and nothing that Brian Sylvester could do to keep that off the net. Zach Steinberger now with five goals on the season. He leads the North American Soccer League. He set this one up himself. He did, and you can see him just picks up the ball off of Jonathan Glenn, takes him off, but sets up J.C. Banks perfectly. Was it Jack Blake? And he gets the rebound. Sylvester does a good job of closing off that near, the near angle, but he puts in the back post that look. He's on the run. He has Jamal Johnson to his left and Jonathan Glenn to his right. Glenn leaves it back. Here is Becky. Steinberger again, and it's 2-0. And we, we can't talk about him enough. He once again starts to play. What a great ball out of the back to find Steinberger right over the line of the, of the midfield. And he takes that play. Jonathan Glenn continues to make some great runs. Leaves the ball for Becky, continues his run in the box. That's probably one of the biggest things that we saw from Zach when he arrived here in Jacksonville last year. His penetrating runs into the box. He's sitting here, he starts the attack. He ran for about 20 yards on his own. Glenn leaves the ball for Becky, continues his run in the box, and just taps it in. It'll be Blake or Meshach Jerome. Blake sends it on goal, off the post, off the hand of Silvestri. Centered, header by Gavard just missed the crossbar. And we talk about finesse. He couldn't have put that any tighter inside the near post. And one of other guys in the white shirts might. And it has been warm, and they have been running a lot in the half. And here's a header kept off the line by Caleb Patterson Sewell, who keeps the clean sheet alive, only just barely. Bringing in young legs and Charles Alonzo and Derek Gibhart really changed the concept of the second half. Schifalani from distance, able to curl one. That was over the top of everybody, and it's 2-1. What a goal by Schifalani. He's been the best attacking player for the North Carolina side all game. He's rotated over to the left-hand side, and he sees Caleb Patterson just a little bit anticipated off his line, and he just slides it in. One of the better goals you see from a really good attacking player. Finds a little slot there, Armada back line, just drops off of him just a little bit. He sees the goalkeeper anticipated and slots it away. Makes his last couple of minutes here extremely interesting for the Armada. That might be the last needed action for the Armada. There it is, Jacksonville on the strength of two Zach Steinberger goals. Beating North Carolina FC, avenging their only loss of the season and moving into second place in the North American Soccer League, Armada 2. North Carolina FC1.